नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर के सी निश्चल प्रैक्टिसिंग एज ए कंसलटेंट डर्माटोलॉजिस्ट एट निर्मल स्किन एंड हेयर क्लिनिक बेंगलुरु आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग सिंस 2007 थाउजेंड सेवन एंड डर्माटोलॉजी हेज सीन वास्ट एक्सपैंशन एस्थेटिक डर्माटोलॉजी हेज बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ क्लिनिकल डर्माटोलॉजी एंड वी आर केटरिंग टू बोथ एस्थेटिक डर्माटोलॉजी एज वेल एज क्लिनिकल डर्माटोलॉजी सिंस टू थाउजेंड सेवन रेस्वेराट्रॉल इज एन एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट सो लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एन एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट सी देर आर लॉट ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन विच आर हैपनिंग इन आर बॉडी so there are a lot of biomechanical reactions and the processes which are happening in the body and during this process there are lot of free radicals which are generated so these free radical molecules are very reactive species which can actually damage the tissue be it skin or internal organs so one of the molecule which can reduce the damage of these free radicals is antioxidants So these antioxidants help to neutralize the free radicals and thereby they protect the skin or the internal tissues and they help in rejuvenating the tissue. Resveratrol is one of those molecules. Just like resveratrol there are other antioxidants like pycnogenol, astaxanthin and even omega 3 has little bit of an antioxidant property. So there are various molecules which have this antioxidant property and resveratrol is one of them. How do we use this molecule? Resveratrol is available as an oral supplement. It is also there in some of the skin products, be it anti-aging cream or skin renewal serums. It is there in that. So basically, it has an additive effect. Resveratrol is a adjuvant, or it is just like a catalyst in a chemical reaction. So it helps to improve and maintain the skin. By that alone, you can't achieve a very great result. so when it comes to skin renewal or anti aging or skin rejuvenation one is we think about renewing the superficial layer of the skin that is the dead cell has to go skin has to be smooth and it has to be soft so this aspect is not only done by resveratrol however resveratrol will improve the function whenever we want to improve the outer layers of the skin that's always vitamin a vitamin a is involved in the shedding of the dead cells and Resveratrol helps in improving it. Resveratrol because of its antioxidant property it reduces the damage being caused to the outer layers of the skin. Second thing is dermis which is the second layer of the skin which contributes to the collagen and thickness of the skin is produced the collagen is produced by fibroblast and whenever the fibroblasts are stimulated more collagen is produced more hyaluronic acid is produced and that improves the thickness of the skin and the firmness of the skin. so only molecule till now which has been widely studied and accepted is your retinol which can stimulate collagen resveratrol is actually considered something which works like a retinol but it is not a retinol since it's an antioxidant as i told you it has some effects similar to that but it, it can never match retinol so resveratrol is an antioxidant which is very important and which is good for a skin rejuvenation or an anti aging purpose however it works in concert with other molecules so when you use in that way resveratrol is a very nice molecule resveratrol is there in lot of fruit berries it is there in grapes the skin of the red grapes so there are natural things what you can consume regularly for having good intake of resveratrol However the problem is when you take natural food they are not so refined and you need to have large quantities so that is where your supplements of resveratrol come into picture so you can have good amount of resveratrol naturally through the fruits grapes and berries and second you can take supplements they do help you in maintaining a good skin